Hello everybody and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in 1,000 slots in the Collection Log. This is going to be a pretty standard episode, I collect random things and check out the new Forthos dungeon. I hope you all enjoy. I wanted to start things off this episode with a banger, so I went ahead and did 100 easy clues and 100 medium clues, 104 easy and 102 mediums to be specific, and uh, let's look through the collection logs, see what we've got in the easy section, 23 items from easy clues, do a quick little scroll through if you guys want to see exactly what items we have, 38 from mediums, most noteworthy item being the wizard boots, so we don't have any of the insanely good boots. And I would love to get some of those, obviously. So let's start off with the easy clues. I hope to God I have enough bank space. Let's get started. Hopefully we could pull at least a couple uniques out of these clues. It took me quite a while to do them. Oh, Zami page. Worth some money, but not a unique. I need the Bandos page 2 and the Ancient page 3. So if we manage to get any of those, that would be great. Uh, Blue Wizard Skirt G. I think that's a unique. I don't think I've gotten that one. Black Wizard Robe T. I Definitely have not gotten that one, and that's worth a decent chunk of change. Goblin Mask? I think I have that one already. We'll check after the uh, clue opening is done. That one, I definitely don't have the gold-trimmed wooden shield. <clears throat> that is a cool-looking unique. I love this item. I mean, seriously, check that out. Oh, my God. Ah, the swag. Oh, we just got Leather Chaps G. I don't think I have those either, so there's something good. Oh, Black Plate Body H5. I have no idea which one of those I have. And... A double unique steel plate skirt G blue elegant blouse. I will take it. Uh, black plate body H1. Okay. I think I'm going to run out of bank space while doing this, if I'm being honest with you guys. Zami robe legs. There's a nearly 200,000 gold clue item. And master scroll book. Yes, I actually have not gotten one of these. So that is uh, a unique for our shared clue scroll reward section. Now we just need those two pages. And we are completely done with that section of the collection log. Black plate body, H5 again. And a master clue. Time to take a break. Ancient page 3. I That might be the item I needed for the shared log. I'm not sure. Oh, black full helm. Gold trimmed. Looking absolutely sexy. And probably the best item in the game. Green elegant blouse. That is definitely unique. There's no way I have a green elegant blouse. Or I would have been wearing it already. Bandos page 2. I don't know what that is. Oh, Ceridom and Robe Top. There's 150k. Back to back into the Ceridom and Robe Legs. Are you kidding me? Back to back, we got the Robe Outfit. Holy... Iron Kite Shield G, I think I've already got that one. But that's okay, because it's all about the fun, right? Steel Full Helm G. Studded Body Gold Trimmed. The Epitome of Fashion Scape. Wizard Robe Top Gold Trimmed. I think I have that already, but it's half a mil, so I am a happy, happy boy. Blue Elegant Pants. We got the blouse, we got the pants, and a trimmed amulet of magic. These easy clues are great, man. We're, we're going to make more money from these easy clues than from the mediums, I guarantee it. There we are. We're done with the easy clues. Let's take a quick look at the log. Just a reminder, we started off with 23 easy clue uh, items in the log before we opened these 100, and we now have 40... Two, we got 19 unique items from opening 100 easy clues. That is so awesome. The log is looking absolutely beautiful. Uh, the only really rare unique that we got was the wooden shield gold. So we didn't get any of the mega rares from the easies, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, and then I want to check the shared rewards. We did. We got everything we needed. We have the shared rewards tab completed. So we actually got 21 unique, no, 22 unique items. From opening 100 easy clues, 22 slots in the collection log filled. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. Alright, time to move on to the mediums. Under two medium clues. First one, gold trimmed climbing boots. Let's go, dude. Let's go. We got the gold trimmed climbing boots. That's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. They're worth only 100k, so they're not super expensive, but these are so cool. That is such a sick looking item. Uh, Addy Shield H3 might be a unique god knows. Look at these boots. Those are so cool, man. Oh my god. So we actually have two out of the four boots from Medium now. We just need Holy Sandals and Ranger Boots, obviously, which are the ones you want to get. Wolf Mask, Zami Page, and a Master Clue. That is the kind of clue you want to open. Two blessings, one clue, and one of those blessings is worth a lot. The Unholy Blessing is absolutely the one to get if you're going to get any blessing at all. And <laughs> our second pair of climbing boots, gold trimmed. Hmm. 
That's interesting. I was getting so many more uniques from the easies. Oh, here we go. Addy Plate Body G and another Strength Ami trimmed. Addy Kite Shield G. Fly of Ban and me. Oh, wow. Oh, what the hell? Addy Helm H2. Addy Shield H2. Pisk Banner and Sarah Cloak. That's very lucky. That was a lot of uniques and two clues. I think four uniques and two clues. Didn't even get to see that clue, but Mythful Helm G. I'll take it, I guess. Double Boater. That's what I'm talking about. Orange Boater and the Green Boater. That's a beautiful clue right there. And a Master. Purple Elegant Legs. They do look very, very elegant, if I'm being honest. Red Headband, so we can finally go work out a little bit. Let's get some more Master Clues. Oh, boy. Okay, 44 mediums to go. What is that? Oh, the Clueless Scroll, right? This is our 400th medium clue, you guys. We got the Clueless Scroll. I can finally start using this thing for my thumbnails. Look at this thing. Can, can I walk, please? Thank, hello? Okay. Look at this beautiful item. It is absolutely gorgeous. Looking at the Clue Scroll, the absolute fashion scape. I love it so much. I'm going to wear it for the rest of this opening, man. It is such a good item. I wish that the Clueless Scroll was part of the collection log. The uniques that you get from doing a certain amount of clues are not a part of the collection log, unfortunately. Oh, Guthix Miter, Piss Banner, Cabbage Round Shield, and Gnomish Firelighter. Uh, three uniques in one clue, and they're all duplicates. Myth Plate Skirt T and Addy uh, H Helm 2 or whatever. Addy Plate Legs Gold Trimmed. Pretty sexy stuff. And the Pink Boater, just for my buddy Bodie. Bandos Cloak. Ooh, some back-to-back-to-back -back -back unique clues. That's pretty nice. The Lovacange Banner, pretty sure I have that one as well. That is the weirdest clue I've ever seen in my life. A blessing and two bandos pages. Well, no, nothing's as weird as that three dragon dagger clue that I got. All right, two clues left. One clue left to go, boys. This could be the ranger boots. Let's find out together. No, it's not. So we started off the medium clue grind with 38 uniques in the log, and we have ended it with 53. So we actually did get 15 uniques from medium clues, which is pretty good. And we got um, 19 from Easy's and then 3 in the Shared. So we actually got, uh, I can't do math very well, but I believe 37 uniques from these clues. And I do have some other clue caskets to open. Surprise! We got 4 Master Clues uh, from doing all of these mediums. And I have a Beginner and Hard Clue that I did at some point. I don't know when. Let's open the Beginner. Pog Champ, Wizard Hat, the Hard Clue gets us some Rune Plate Skirts. Very nice. And now, time for the Master Clues, boys. This could be some of the best items in the game. Let's see what we get. Terrible. Master scroll book again. Terrible. It's terrible. This is why you don't do master clues, kids. Oh my god. It's disappointment every time. So I added everything up and we made like probably like 9 mil from the clue scrolls and then we got like 3 mil from the implings. So uh, I spent 14 mil on jars. We got like 12 mil gold out of it. So I lost 2 mil opening these clues. But we got a lot of uniques in the collection log and this beautiful scroll. And that's all that matters. Nothing in my name. Nothing at all. Rip. Actually. Dark Relic. I knew we were going to get something. <laughs> Ah, runecrafting XP, thank you very much. Did we get anything? No. 80 kill count at raids. Haven't seen an item in about 46 years. So we haven't had our music cape for a while. Mostly because of the mimic, and I didn't want to get it. But we got the mimic, so I figure now we probably should just get it. And this should be the last song we have to unlock for the music cape. Canon of Calith. And now the only songs we're missing are the winter ones. So we won't be able to get those till Christmas, but now we can go claim our music cape once again. All right, Olaf, I would love to have a music cape, my friend. What? No, I, <laughs> I do want the music cape. I do want it. 99,000 coins. I'm willing to pay it. And uh, I do have a music cape in my POH already, but I want to have one for myself. In case you guys don't know why the music cape is useful, you can click teleport on it. And it will teleport you right here to our good friend Fellow the Bard. So it speeds up Master Clues by quite a bit. And uh, other than that, you know, it looks pretty cool. It's got, got a little harp on the back. 130 Cal Fight. We still need the Dragon Two-Hander and the Pet from Cal Fight Queen. We might actually need the Jar too. I'll check on that. But uh, yeah, this is a fun boss. We'll kill uh, maybe not 100 this time, unless I'm really into it. We'll kill a couple at least. We got a mystery box. This thing is 1 in 128 to contain a stale baguette in case you were unaware. And we get... 20 nature runs, that's actually not bad. Let's just say it's not really a cow fight queen kind of day. I killed a couple and it's just, uh, it's slogging on, man. Let's see, black dragons, I'll do some KBD. Now that is some fun content. Well, KBD gave us nothing. So we are going to... <laughs> Why does this happen to me all the time? I swear, this happens all the time. All right, 35 king black dragon. 
I think this is a sign. If we don't get the pet, like, first kill of this task, I'm going to be very surprised. This is destiny calling me. Well, one thing led to another task is done, and we have 1,733 kill count at KVD. We're really making our way up in the kill count there. Next task is Hellhounds. Man, today just does not stop. Time to head to Cerberus and test our luck once again at getting that Pagasian Crystal and maybe the pet. Probably not the pet, but maybe. So a pretty awesome thing has just happened. A new update called the Forthos Dungeon has just come out and it's added five uniques to the collection log, which is great for me. It gives me more variety in my hunting and more things to do. So four of the uniques are from the new boss, Seracnus. We've got the pet, the jar of eyes, the giant egg sack, which is uh, 100 red spider eggs inside of it, and the Seracnus cudgel, which is like her rare unique weapon drop. And then we also have the mask of Raynal, which drops from these guys right here, the Undead Druids. It's a pretty rare drop. So along with this dungeon, there is a new mini quest called In Search of Knowledge and a nice little trick you can do to unlock a couple things that make this dungeon a little bit easier. So we're going to be doing those. First off, we have to feed this guy five food to heal him up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and finish this quest and I'll see you guys when that's done. So I'm not actually going to do the mini quest. That just results in you getting a 10,000 XP lamp and uh, I don't necessarily need experience now. So I'm actually just going to do the parts that unlock extra bits of the dungeon which is just talking to this guy, uh, giving him friggin' five dragon stones, and then with the coin he's given us, we are going to insert it into the stone relief here. Then we can travel through the stone relief, crawl right on through there to access this neat little thing called the sacred bone burner. And in here you can use your dragon bones to get three times the normal XP that you would get from them. Um, and it's really close to where you kill the red dragons. You pull this lever to unlock this door here, and that's pretty much all I can do in here right now. I also tested killing red dragons, tanning the hides here, using the bones on this to see how much XP and GP per hour you'd make from this. And not including other drops from the red dragons, but you'd make about 300,000 GP by making these into uh, red dragon hide bodies and alking them. And you get almost 30,000 prayer XP per hour using the bones on here. And this was without using piety or anything. Do note, we're using like max strength gear with a dragon hunter lance. So this is probably nowhere near the race you'll be getting realistically on any account other than a max main. Now you might be wondering, well, dude, there's still the spider boss. Why don't you go kill that for a little while? Well, I was coming here to make the point that every world had somebody in max strength with a scythe fighting the boss. I hopped to this 2200 total world and there's actually nobody here. So either some dude is banking and he's about to come here and like smack my ass or I might actually be able to kill the new spider boss so uh, let's hurry up and go get some gear. Oh, never mind. Some dude just showed up like three seconds later when I was trying to get out of here. Yep. Okay. Well, it, oh, and another dude. <laughs> Man, we're going to have to wait a couple days before we can even get the chance to fight this thing, unfortunately. Honestly, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I just want the pet. And the Pagasian Crystal, but he just keeps giving me primordials, so I'll keep taking them. Thanks, sir. There's another 30 mil into the bank. Thank God prices are starting to go back up, man. 30 mil sounds a lot nicer than, like, 26 mil or whatever these things were at before. So, uh, yeah, there's our, like, 46th primordial crystal from Cerberus or something. This boss just loves me. Just... <laughs> Just don't look at the screen if you're easily upset, alright? Just don't look, alright? If you're already not looking, just don't look for the rest of the clip. I won't even say what I got because I don't want to upset you, okay? I got a drop. It's a drop. That's all that matters. It's a certain crystal, a crystal I'm very happy about. And we may or may not have 30 million more gold in the bank. Uh, we may or may not have gotten two of my favorite crystal in one task. Alright, the Cerberus task is over. I promise no more uh, triggering things will happen, at least not in this clip, so let's go get a new task from Duradel. Actually, three more tasks and we'll be at a 900 streak, which means a big boy point bonus. Yes! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this task seriously for over a week. Black Demons, we could finally do Demonic Gorillas. It has been probably at least a year and a half, maybe two years. I don't know how long it's been since MM2 came out. It's been a long time since I've killed a single Demonic Gorilla. I grinded them back in the day before I could get a Zenite. And uh, it took me 600 kills to get a Zenite, and that kind of turned me off of it. But now we have a reason to get the crappy drops that aren't Zenite shards. So let's go do our Demonic Gorilla task of 160, 180, and uh, hopefully we can get something. I think the unique drop table, it's a 1 in 100 chance to hit the table. So it's pretty common to get an item from Demonic Gorillas. We just got to hope for the luck of getting each specific item individually. All right, finally a drop. No, it's not a drop for the collection log, but Dragonfruit Tree Seeds, man, almost 400,000 gold. 
That's, that's the best thing we've got in all tasks so far. Well, it looks like I have something to record now. Uh, cool. We found my orange gem. <laughs> the orange gem we were looking for has been found. There's like 11 million gold, so uh, it brings a total amount of gold I made up today to like 70-something million. So it's been a good day, you guys. It's been a good day. That's what I call some YouTube luck right there. Second to last kill of the task. And this is the last kill of the task right here, so, uh, you know, maybe we can get back to back. We got our first kill at Seracnus, and uh, it feels amazing. Um, I don't know how long this boss's respawn timer is, but it looks like it's quite a while. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's decently fun. It's a decent mid-level boss. You know, there's nothing too intense about it. She's got a pretty range, then pretty melee, then run after and smack it. And to be fair, I do have, like, maxed gear, so it's probably a lot more fun uh, as a med-level instead of a max player. But, uh, yeah, 5 out of 10. Good update. Well, not 5. That was mean. I take that back. Holy shit, dude. 21 kills, and we got the cudgel. Oh, my God. I got the cudgel before I got an egg sack. <laughs> Woo! Alright, let's go to the GE and sell this thing. It looks like it's crashed so much already, but we'll still get like a mill out of it. I know I usually keep all the loot till the end of the video, but, uh, you know, we're just gonna sell this real quick. We'll just throw it in at mid-price and, uh, see what happens. Three mil! That's not one mil, dude. That's three mil. Oh, today is a day. That's all I have to say. Uh, so, if someone was like, hey, you should use the grubby key, and it says, you do require at least 15 spaces in your inventory to loot this chest. <laughs> 15 spaces, dude? What the hell? I'm selling these, man. I am not using these keys. <laughs> Finally, dude. This is the drop I've been looking for, the giant egg sack. Um, they said that this boss was supposed to replace the Tower of Life as the primary way for Iron Man to farm for red spider eggs. So this should be a really common drop, right? Well, it took me 112 kills to get one of these, which is nearly three hours of Seracnus. So I think I'm going to stop my Seracnus grind at 117 kill count. The boss is pretty decent. For those who are wondering, I was making about 900,000 to a million gold per hour with this gear setup. You could probably ditch the Serpentine Helm. Uh, if you don't want to spend the extra money on skills, you might make a little bit more money. You just lose a bit of that strength bonus. It's really just good for if someone else is in your world and you're needing to compete for kills. That strength bonus can help you out sometimes. But uh, we made some decent money. The Kudja was very nice. And we did get a lot of these tattered pages, which I needed for the quest, that mini quest, in the search of knowledge, which is the only thing I don't have completed. So I think we just throw these into their respective books and then talk to Lagosia. And tell Lagosia, hey, I've got some books or something like that. Yeah, there we go. Show Lagosia the tome, and we will give all of the tomes to her, and then we receive an experience lamp as a reward. And now we've completed the mini quest. We're going to throw that right into my favorite skill, rune crafting. And finally, in case you didn't know, you will still get these pages as drops while killing creatures in this dungeon. So bring them to Lagosia, and Lagosia will give you 1,000 GP for every single page you have. So it's not really good money, but they are an extra drop in addition to whatever you're getting. So they won't replace any of the drops you get from Seracnus. It's basically just an extra 1,000 gold whenever you get them as a drop. So it's a cool little thing to get. I mean, it's an extra 14K I didn't have before. I really can't complain about that. Time for a Criara task. We are just over the drop rate on an item. So hopefully we can claim ourselves our first Armadil drop. Let's see what we can do. And what do we get from our last Criara kill? 170 kill count, some coins. So this is unfortunate. I'm gonna have to leave off the task. We only have 29 left, which is not enough to come back. 170 dry on any drop from Criara. Come on, big bird. There we go. 900 Slayer tasks done. We got this one from Konar. 500 bonus points and from the Barrel's chest, 400 mind runes. That is more than I could have ever asked for. Thank you, game. I know it's a bit out of the blue, but I felt like AFKing for a collection log item. We, what? I just got them back to back. I just got two masks back to back. Alright, I only wanted one, but, uh, okay. I'll take it. Thanks, game. Um, we got the Mask of Renewal, which is the new collection log item from the, uh, you know, dungeon thing, whatever. It's also one of the most sick fashionscape items that has ever been added to this. I love that mask. It is so unsettling and creepy and every, oh my god, when you turn your camera, your character looks at it. I don't know if your character always looks at the camera, but it's actually pretty creepy. He's turning. Oh no, he just turns passively. Never mind. Ignore my creepy pasta. And so I think I'm going to end things off here, my friends. Let us check that loot tab real quick. See how juicy it is. 80 million gold this episode. 
two Primordial Crystals, a Zenite Shower, and the Seracnus Cudgel, which is not here to join us because I already sold it. So it's more like 83 million gold from all the loot this episode. So I'm going to sell off everything in this loot tab, see how much our bank is worth. Oh my gosh, the Masks of Renewal sold for 111,000 gold each. Oh my god. So that back-to-back -back was actually way luckier than I thought, honestly. I don't want to lose too much money on this last Primordial Crystal. The first one instantly sold for 30.4 mill so I'm gonna leave this one in for 30.4 and we'll just add that on to the bank value at the end here so in total yeah we made a ton of money <laughs> let's deposit everything into the bank I've taken the liberty of putting the eyes of Newton in my grand exchange for an exorbitantly high price than all we'll ever pay for so as not to affect our bank value let's throw it in 93.5 plus what was it 30 mil or 935 mil plus 30 mil so we have a bank value of about 965 million gold right now my friends that is dangerously close to the 1 billion mark which I have never reached and at the 1 billion mark lies the mystical twisted bow so we might be able to get a twisted bow in the very near future I may have not mentioned this yet but everybody in the comments said that they really want me to sell my bank and get a twisted bow into a twisted bow rebuild so that is exactly what I plan on doing now to be fair I don't plan on selling every single thing in my bank I want to keep the bare minimum just in case I want to do something that's not Twisted Bow related content. I'll probably keep uh, my imbued rings. Obviously, I'm not going to unimbue those and sell those. I'll probably keep a couple armor pieces and a bit of melee gear left over, like the Frozen Abyssal Whip, just so I can do some content that's not Zilliana or Zolra or Raids 1 or whatever. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. That is the best way to support the channel. If you want to support me even further, you can go ahead and check out my Twitch page over on twitch.tv forward slash guides for us all, and follow me on Twitter, same handle, at guides for us all. Thank you guys so much for the support on these videos. I know I say it a lot, but I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.